you know, I'm like, okay, that's the goal. To try to figure out the pathways inside yourself so that you can get where you need to go that effortlessly and that completely. Someday I'm going to get there. <laughs> uh, Retro. <laughs> would, would I let Hermes do my accounting? <laughs> Absolutely! <laughs> the man is committed to everything being right. So actually, maybe not. Long sleeve and then the guy in the back. Me? Yeah. Cool. Uh, what was it like working on the Justice League? Justice League was uh, fantastic. It was a blast. Uh, even though people on the internet made it a little hard at first for George Newbern. It's like, he's not Tim Daly. He doesn't sound like Superman. His voice. Why does he get hurt every time somebody shoots a rocket in his chest? I don't like it. <laughs> and the truth of the matter is, George sounded just like Tim. Come on. But everybody was so happy when Tim Daly came back. Whatever. Um, you know, it was a blast. Uh, the people we got to, I mean, Carl Lumley and just working with Kevin Conroy was just so great. Um, everybody was really nice and really talented. And then we got these fantastic guest stars. I think everybody from Firefly at some point guested on the show. Uh, and then I mean, just other people like William Smith, you know, like this uh, old movie character actor who I think actually played Conan's father in uh, Conan the Barbarian with Schwarzenegger. Um, you know, he can, like, we had all sorts of people come in there. Um, and yeah, and also the work was fantastic. I mean, as Jon Stewart, I got to play being on trial for murder, you know, uh, being a love triangle where my girlfriend's ex-boyfriend is trying to take over the earth. <laughs> you know, uh, and also, I got to have a love affair with uh, Gina Torres. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, as far as what I got to play as that character, I mean, nothing in my own camera career has ever come close. And the writing was so good, and the show itself was so good. It was, it was a, a, a pleasure. And I'm glad we got to do it for as long as we did. Oh, the guy in the back, yes. I know that on a lot of these shows, you got to play a lot of characters at once. In a scene where, like, they're having one of your characters talk to another one of your characters, is it kind of hard to switch back and forth between the voices and instantly like that? It depends on the voices and uh, where you are in the process. Uh, for me, it's a voice that doesn't really lock in until after I see the first episode. Uh, I'm not sure why that is, but I think it's almost like. Once I see the cartoon, it's the actual character, and then I can just imitate it. <laughs> but before that, you're just sort of kind of guessing. It's like, well, I'm uh, this guy. <coughs> oh, I'm John Stewart. All right. And then you see it, like, oh, okay. Now I'm John Stewart, Green Lantern, Sector Two Eight One Four. <laughs> Come on, Flash. This is serious. <laughs> There were a few episodes uh, during that period uh, when we were doing the DCUA where Static and the Justice League crossed, crossed over, and I was doing the voice of Virgil Hawkins uh, in Static Shock as well. And that was fun. Uh, it was a challenge because the voices are two very different placements. Um, but it was exciting. I mean, and at, at that point, I'd already been working on Futurama, so I'd seen Billy West do three characters talking to themselves at the same time, like three wildly disparate characters. You know, like the first episode of Futurama, he, the professor introduces Fry to Zoidberg. <laughs> you know, he's doing this and this, and I mean, I, and you can't, when you, go back, go back and watch that episode. There's no way you can tell one single human being is doing all of those voices. <laughs> um, so getting the chance to try to come Anywhere close to that, you know. You know, Static, you're a real credit to the league when you finally get in. What? You mean, when I get in? <laughs> you know, being able to move back and forth is, it's tough. And I think I probably did end up 
recording the two voices separately just to make sure that that static was really where he needed to be in terms of like my higher register. Um, I mean, the, the, the John Stewart voice was pretty solid. Um, you know, I, I can get to here it's wherever I need to. You know, and it's actually, uh, a lot of people think it's the exact same as Sig from Jack and Daxter. But Sig is actually deeper. <laughs> <laughs> saying them often enough for it to like seep in. I mean, you guys watch the episodes a lot more than we record them. <laughs> we only record them once. Um, although, it's funny, there was a character that Nicole Sullivan used to do on Mad TV uh, called Antonia, who, who, was a, who was special. Antonia was a little special girl. Um, and she would always go, if, okay. <laughs> and I do find myself doing that a lot. <laughs> Are you coming in there? Okay. <laughs> Even if the fuck blue. It's just, it's just funny. Uh, uh, yes? Uh, one of my favorite characters that you've done. Oh, favorite. Moving on. No, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, you going through? Okay, well, I gotta go. No, no, I'm sorry. And, and I was just curious as to how that voice came about, or how did you develop that? Um, it's funny, because that was actually one of the ones that, at the beginning, they said, we want it to be your own voice. Which I hate when they say that. Because I don't know what they talk, I don't know what they're talking about. Which voice? <laughs> which one? Which your own voice? You know, this voice? that I use when I'm talking to an audience of mostly white people. <laughs> or the voice I use when I'm talking to my cousins. <laughs> which, which, there, there, yeah, there, is, there is always a context. Um, so Wilt was my, uh, my apologetic voice. You know, it started, it started out like this, and um, sorry, um, and then became a little more so because he was taller. Um, that's all right. Um, hey, Blue, that is not okay. I'm sorry I had to say that, but no. <laughs> so basically, it was my voice lengthened. And sorry. <laughs> Chris Rock came on and basically said, 
Voice acting is so easy. <laughs> <laughs> I, 